Okay. I think we are good to go now. Um, so, firstly, I'd like to say thank you all for joining this evening. Um, just to give you the heads up, um, as things happen, my Wi-Fi just massive just just went. So I'm currently mobile hotspotting. So hopefully everything holds up. Um, but I've got you know our screen set and um, yeah, hopefully everything holds up for this session. But thank you guys all for joining today. Um, you know, for those of you that are here, I'm sure that you're here because you either have exams coming up this summer or you you have a child or a student that has their exams coming up this summer and you're looking for a reliable tool. Well, look no further because I'm about to present to you today a platform that hopefully is going to secure your exam success this summer 2024. Uh, my name is Michael Olagunju. Um, I am really delighted to host today's session. Um, in the in the session, it's going to be really geared towards students today. Um, so, you know, what we're going to be presenting is a student dashboard for you. Um, we'll perhaps do an, other webinars where we'll show you how it works on the school side and the teacher side. Um, in terms of the plan, so what we'll do is we'll spend about 10 to 20 minutes on um, just going through the platform um, and then we'll leave the floor open to Q&A at the end, okay? Um, while I'm presenting, um, feel free to ask any questions you like. We've got the more than able um, Wayman and Chris. So Wayman is our content manager. He's um, uh, ex-head principal. Um, he's, he's the one that's been making the majority of our questions. And we've also got Chris Bradshaw, who's you might have heard recently on our on our YouTube video channel. So yeah, these guys are more than capable to help you. So if you have any questions, just feel free to pop them on the chat. And without further ado, I think we should just get straight into it, right? So let's just show you how the platform works. So this is a student dashboard. Now, after you sign up, you'll be um, presented with a couple of questions to just find out about your 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 targets, where you currently are, and your interests. This is so that we can shape the platform precisely to your needs, okay? And you'll get your own personalized dashboard where you can find your courses, you can view your progress, you can find a real live tutor that you can work with, or you can view some exam papers um, that you can also answer questions on. So let's kick off with the courses section. Okay, so in the courses section, you'll see an array of different courses and you can find your course by using the course which are on the top right hand side. Can I just confirm that everybody can see this view? Chris, can you confirm? Because I've got, again, kind of crazy screens going on as well. So I, I can see you at the minute. So good. All right, brilliant. Awesome. Thank you. So um, if you if you want to use any, you know, if you want to see content, for any of these features, okay? It's important to use a course switcher to populate that, okay? So assuming we want to check out the GCSE IR Ed Excel course, we just simply select in a course switcher. And if we click on get started, if you haven't started the course yet or continue lesson. So what you'll then be presented with is a course overview, which shows you course details. It shows you your progress in the course, and it shows you your performance relative to the other thousand students that will be working on the platform. OK, and we'll come into what these scores mean here shortly. On the right hand side, you'll be presented with your curriculum and topics within the curriculum. OK. So assuming you chose a topic, say, for example, circle theorem, you can watch a video or you can take an assessment. As you see here, it's super interactive. And you'll also have a section where you can revisit topics. These are the topics that we recommend you to revisit based off of your assessments. Um, you also have access to papers within your courses. And last but not least, resources, useful resources that you can use. Now, 
if you would like to just go ahead and do questions, because we've um, from the feedback, we've we've been told that the questions are probably one of the most popular parts of the platform. Well, you can just go right to the quizzes section. And in the quizzes section, you'll have super useful topic index, which will display all the topics that you have in the course that you select. OK, so let's just repopulate this to say A level AQA. So that will just completely repopulate the topic index section. OK, and here you have all the course, all the topics that you can choose from if you just want to simply answer questions. Now, let's just go back to GCSE for, for just the sake of ease. You also have a very handy um, topic search section. So say we want to do some work on vectors, you can just see um, vectors pop up here. And what that will do, once you click that, that will present you a list of all the questions, all the vector questions relative to your specific course, okay? So how it works is just how you would think it. It's just an assessment, an online assessment. If you need to use hints, you can use hints to help you answer the question. As you can see here, let's use another hint. If you get questions right, so here it says, which of the following quantities are scalars? In this case, that would be the mass and the speed. It will, you will have your own personal tutor, your own AI tutor that would provide you with feedback. And what it will also do is push you to solve more complex problems until you achieve mastery in the topic, okay? Now, if you get questions wrong, so here it says which of the following um, quantities are vectors, let's choose energy and distance, for example, you will get instant feedback, okay? Now, whilst you're submitting questions, the AI tutor is doing some really cool work in the background and it's figuring out where your skill level is, okay? Without knowing that much about you, it can do it pretty quickly and also, pretty accurately and how we do this is using a special system called the Visley scores okay which you might have seen ticking up and down in real time okay so we have this scoring system here and in real time you can actually see your real grades now the question that you're actually presented with is one of up to five different questions of the same difficult of the same type so what does that mean it just means that the one we saw was the one that was recommended to us based on our Visley score, okay? And there are up to five different difficulty levels. So your challenge really is to try and get the highest possible Visley score for yourself. And you can actually see what these Visley scores equate to. Um, if you just go back to the dashboard area and you click on all grades, you can see exactly what your equivalent Visley score equates to in terms of grades. And that's, I guess, really what we're after here, right? Um, so in terms of the question styles, we have, you know, so many different types. We've got, we've got the multi-select, as you see here. We also have matching line questions, as you see here. And we also have open text questions. And now this is where the AI tutor comes super handy. Let's have a look at an example. Let's try a an example that hopefully we all know. Um, so this question here says the position vector of A is five and negative 12. And then it says, find the distance between O and A. All right, now we should know um, that the position, the, the distance of, of, of this vector can be found using the distance formula. So what we would typically do is five squared plus the um, square of negative 12 and we would take the square root of all of that. And so five squared is 25, negative 12 squared is 144. And if we add both of those, we would get 169, right? So if we take the square root of that, we should get 13. Now, instead of writing 13, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write 14, okay? And we're just gonna click check and see what happens next. Okay, so once you check, once you type in your answer, you're telling the tutor your answer and he's thinking, he or she is thinking, or they are thinking about what they, okay, so we've just had a slight error and I apologize for that. I think this could be due to my connection at the moment. Let's just refresh this. Um, for those of you that are joining, I'm currently mobile hotspotting. So 
um these things do happen um where things just don't work as you as you plan so let's try that one again okay so let's just click on 14 type in 14 and hopefully this does show a solution Okay, so what the tutor tells us is that your answer is still not correct. You can find the distance. So I, I assume what happened was my my Wi-Fi bugged out there, and it what what it probably would have told us is that is that our answer is close. Okay, so we've programmed these AI tutors to be super positive. All right, and kind of try and understand where you went wrong. Okay, so. You can find the distance between two points by using the Pythagorean theorem. In this case, the positions are defined by the vector 5, negative 12. Can you try calculating the distance again using this information? Yes, let's try again ourselves, And let's type in the right answer and see what happens. Now, you, you might be wondering, well, this is AI and sometimes it might not be right, but rest assured, it is pretty it, it is pretty accurate. The reason being is because we've created all of the all of the content. OK, so exam solutions have made over 12000 questions for students, um, you know, that come with answers and hints. OK, so here it says, great job. Your answer is correct. The distance between points O and A is indeed 13. You correctly use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate this. Keep up the good work, okay? And as we got the question right, it's gonna push us to then solve a slightly more difficult question until we reach the point where we're basically masters, okay? Um, now, you know, let's let's actually have a look at another example. Um, here we've been given a vector A and it's described by this column vector minus eight and three. And we've been asked to express minus four A as a column vector. So imagine I just had no idea and I just got frustrated. Um, and I just say, what's the answer? Just tell me the answer. Now, as a real life tutor would behave, um, I don't think a, a real life tutor would just provide the answer. Otherwise, I would assume I would class them as an obsolete tutor. Rather, I would try and ask them leading questions or provide guidance to help them. OK, so it looks... Like here, our tutor said, I'm here to guide you towards finding the answer rather than give it outright. Remember, you're asked to express minus 4a as a column vector, where the vector a is given by the column vector minus a3. Why not try multiplying every element of a by negative 4? OK, so that's how the the, um, you know, the assessments, the quizzes section works. And you have so many topics that you can work through. Um, on, on our platform. Um, now, if you have a tutor, a school or a teacher um, that signed up to the platform, well, they can also assign you homework and they can assign you um, resources using our resource bank, okay? And you'll find it in your notification section, okay? So you'll get a, a message from David, for example, saying, hey, just sent you some homework on graph transformations. Let me know if you need any help. You'll also receive... A handy email which tells you you've received some some um, work from your tutor and let's go ahead and check it out let's check out what our, our tutor has sent us so here we've got some questions on graph transformations now hopefully you understand how the assessments work the Visley scoring system the the question that is recommended to you is based on your Visley score okay um now, this works pretty much the same as what I've just shown you. The only difference is that your tutor this time or your school or your teacher will be able to also review your responses. And you'll, you'll be able to work together on problems interactively with your tutor. OK, so if I clicked on this button, which says message tutor, it should bring up the message box. Again, I am apologies. We are using a mobile hotspot right now. Um, which is, isn't is the best to use. I wouldn't recommend mobile hotspotting, especially while live streaming. Um, but essentially this will bring up the message box, okay? Um, let's 
quickly have a look at some other features that we have here. Um, okay, now moving on to the exam papers. Now this is a very popular feature as well. Um, here we have, again, just very similar to the quizzes section, we have a topic index, okay? Now the topic index just simply displays all the topics that you know we've seen in exam papers. Okay, so now let's go to A levels because I know many of exam solutioners are also doing their A levels as well. Let's try A level at Excel. And say, for example, we wanted to do some exam questions on trigonometric equations. So, what this will do is it will provide us all the exam questions on trigonometry from 2017. Okay, so from the new spec. And we can even go ahead, we could go one step further and filter by difficulty. So, you can Say, I want to do all the easy questions on trigonometric equations from the new spec. You can reference the question, the question number and the letter here. And what's super cool about this is that when you click on it, it takes you directly to the question without you ever having to find it. Okay. So same thing for the answer. If we click on the answer, it takes us directly to the mark scheme. Okay. Now, one of the reasons why exam solutions actually started in the first place was because um we realized that ex mark schemes are super difficult to understand okay and so we're building a new feature um which comes out next week where you guys will be able to interact with these exam papers and i'm going to show you an example shortly but let's just finish this off okay here we have the exam paper section where you can simply view the latest exam papers the 2022 ones you can simply use a search function and they're, they're here. Um, for some of the exam papers, um, we have um, we have work solutions. So this again was very popular from the old website. This is an opportunity. So essentially we've built um, our own custom video solutions where you, know, you can try out the question after viewing the question, and then you can see our own video solutions to the questions to see how we've approached it, okay? Um, just going back to this section, um, just um, also just uh, as a note, we are populating all the 2022 papers, which are at the moment on the old website. OK, so we'll be populating these pretty soon. Um, I can see some people wanting to join, um, actually, you guys. So if you can just put those guys in. Um, last but not least, um, for those of you guys who are on the Boost Plus subscription plan, um, you'll have access to hundreds of practice and predictive papers that have been handmade by exam solutions, okay? Um, and they, you know, they span across all of the different courses that we have in this, um, you know, in this platform, okay? So when we click on it, we simply see um, the predictive papers that we've created. And at the bottom, you get super detailed and easy to understand mark schemes for you to use for your preparation and the 2023 um, papers will be coming out around about February, March time, okay? So certainly do keep an eye on that. So I believe I've gone through the main points of the platform. I did say I wanted to show you the exam papers, um, how you'll be able to interact with exam papers. Um, let's see if we can have a look at an example. Okay, so here's an example um, of an exam paper. Um, let's let's actually look at a pure question because I think that would be slightly easier. Okie dokie. So. OK, let's have a look at this question, which was part of a 2022 paper. Uh, probably need to improve the resolution a bit on this image. Um, but the point we're trying to make here is that you can use an AI tutor to answer, you know, these exam questions in a way that's just a, a lot easier to understand than your mark scheme. So here we've been given the point P, negative 2, negative 5, which lies on the curve with the equation Y is equal to F of X, where X belongs to the set of real numbers. We've been asked to find the point to, P, to which P is mapped when the curve with the equation Y is equal to F of X is transformed to the curve with the equation. Let's, let's start with 1A. So Y is equal to F of X plus 2. Does anyone know the answer?
I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a couple of seconds. Um and see let's let's open the chat actually um and see if anyone knows the answer. So what would be the transformation? Brilliant. So we've got Oli. Hey Oli, good to see you. Um, we've got Delroy, um, who slightly conflicts with Oli. Um, okay, I'm seeing these on direct messages. You can put these out on the public chat, guys, so that everyone can see their answers. So, Wayman, if you can just open them up. XX has no idea. Roshana looks good. Oli looks good. Guys, did you manage to open the chat up? Yeah, it is open, but you'd have to select everyone on the drop down for all to see. Gotcha. Okay, no problem at all. So we've got we've got the majority are saying minus two, minus three. We've got some saying minus two, minus five. Um okay, let's try minus two, minus five. And see what happens. Okay. This tells us your answer is not correct. The original point was P minus two, uh, was the point P. Minus two, minus five. When the curve y is equal to f of x is transformed to y is equal to f of x plus two, every y coordinate increases by two. So calculate again, considering this answer. I mean, you could, you'd probably take that as an example, or sorry, as as an explanation over the mark scheme, right? Um. So let's try again, and let's say the answer is minus two, minus three, as the other guy said. and see what happens. There we go, great job, your answer is correct. The point P minus two minus five is indeed transformed to minus two minus three when transformation Y is equal to F of X plus two is applied. Cool, um, should we try just one more? Let's do one more. Um, let's do this one. We've already got an answer from Roshana, which is amazing. Um, she's obviously ahead of the curve. Anyone else? Doesn't mean she's right, I'm just checking. Anyone else with an answer? So here we've got, okay, Delroy comes with some, something slightly different. Fair enough. Well done for trying. This time, does, does anyone know what this symbol represents? The modulus. Let's just click on a hint. Evaluate the absolute value of the y coordinate of p on the original curve, y is equal to f of x. And so let's just assume that we are what we're gonna what we're gonna do as a result of taking the modulus of the y well the, the function. Does anyone know the answer now based on that hint we just saw? Okay. So the answer slightly changes. Good. Very good, Roshana. So we are building this feature. Um, these will be available for all of the exam papers probably by around about um, the next few days or next week. So, I mean, in terms of preparation for exams, um, it's definitely ideal to actually get some some real-time feedback on how you are being assessed. Okay, I think I've taken long enough um, displaying, kind of going through the platform. Um, what I'll do now is for the last few minutes, let's open up um, this for some open Q&A and we'll then round off. So does anyone have any questions on 
what they've just seen. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. No, no questions? Just means I've explained it beautifully to you. Okay. What was the answer to C? How much is a subscription for A-level course for school? Okay, so the answer to C, um, I mean, we don't have enough time to continue going through questions, Mr. John. Um, good to see you as well. I know you're um, you know, you're a great member of this community as well. Um how much is a subscription? So let's actually look at the subscriptions themselves. So um, just so you know, you guys, you have um, a free trial, um, which allows you to use all of these facilities and check it out yourself. Um, so the the basic plan, which is zero pounds per month, um, gives you access to all our videos as you did in the old website. But in addition to that, you get access to some assessments. OK, and we also provide you know, as a member of the community, you, you get, you know, you get emails on study tips and things like that. Um, the boost plan gives you access to unlimited videos and assessments, um, you know, reporting and feedback. Um, so the feedback sense, um, the feedback comes from the AI tutor and it also comes from your assessments. OK, so one thing we hadn't actually checked was after you complete, say, the whole of vectors, you will receive recommendations um, and, you know, um, a bit of guidance on where to go next. Um, the way we work, the way the Visley scoring system works actually lends itself to a really, really good predictive model, which means that after a certain number of tests, we can actually we can actually predict pretty accurately what we think you're going to get. OK, and this is all based off of the data that you input into our system. OK, so we have a very kind of scientific way of um, finding you know, you know, coming to your results um, or your predicted grades. And, you know, if you don't know your grade now, it's probably good to try and figure it out now so you know exactly what to do to get your target grade. And the Exam Solutions AI Tutor is another feature in this Boost plan. The Boost Plus plan comes with all the Boost features, but in addition, you get those unlimited predicted and practice papers. Um, you know, which are very, very popular during exam periods. So rather than just rushing to get these, um, these subscriptions, just um, so you know, the price will be increasing um, as we get closer towards exams. Um, and, you know, we've, you know, on that note, we've got a special kind of gift for you guys who have joined us today. We'll be offering you guys a 30% discount. And for you parents who are here, um, we've also got dashboards for you to monitor your child's progress. So we'll do another way. I think my connection is unstable as I'm seeing a screen here. Um, and yeah, hopefully that kind of gives you a good overview of the subscription section. Um, we also have annual billing, which basic half. OK, so this is basically 50 percent annual. And I can see a couple more questions. The leaderboard advisor was great question. And we do provide incentives for winners. Um, however, we do think that the best competition is yourself. Um, the, the idea of the platform is not to compete with others. Of course, we do provide rewards and incentives to do that, to keep you guys engaged in your learning. But. Um, you know, the whole idea is to keep you engaged. So the question that you see is the right question for you um, to help you get um, to the next level. Um, what else do we see? Um, is there a leaderboard? Da, da, da. How do we access the parent dashboard? OK, so the parent dashboard is accessed. Um, so if you sign up as a parent, you will be able to view a parent dashboard. Um, there are different sign up systems. Um, but yeah, I mean, as I said, we, we, um, the, the intention of this this um, session is to just purely go through the student dashboard. Um, we will do another webinar for parents and teachers where we will show you how to view progress. We will show teachers how to assign resources to their students and then view the analytics that 
um, are super useful to helping their classroom um, upskill. Um, will you be adding in other subjects? Yes, we will. Um, maths is, of course, um, something Exam Solutions is very well known for. Um, and so it made sense for us to just push forward on the math side. But yes, we will be adding um, more subjects. We're looking at adding in the sciences and the languages. So definitely look out for that. Any other questions? Just conscious of time because we literally have, we, we're slightly over. Other examples, yes, we do. Yes, so we have quite a few examples already. Um, and you can view the examples in the course switcher, okay? So the course switcher shows all the examples that we have available for A-level. You know, we also have um, the IB examples here. For example, we also have um, the international at Excels. Um, I believe, where, where would that be? IAL, here as you see. Um, okay, I think that's all we have time for in terms of questions. Is there a minimum sign up period? I.e., can I sign up for one month only? So there's um, the sign up period is seven days. Um, and yes, you are free to just sign up for seven days to use the platform and try it out and see um, if it's the right option for you. But we are pretty confident um, based on the feedback that we've got and um, you know the amount of testing that we've done on the platform that this is a great tool for your revision. Um, on that note, I'm going to round it up there. Um, thank you guys all for joining me today. Um, it's been a pleasure to host the session for you and show you around the platform. Um, we'll probably do more of these over time. Um, we'll probably do more of these as we get closer towards exam period and we'll actually do some where I am going through some questions. Um, if you guys have any questions you want, um answered feel free to just send us an email at info at examsolutions.net rather and we will we will be more than happy to answer your questions as said all the registrants of this webinar will be getting a 30 percent discount so do look out for an email um for for that and i think that is it you guys have been super great um could you please em email me the recorded great point Yes, we will be emailing all the recording um, the recording to all of you guys after this um, session. OK, so thank you very much. Do share us um, and do let your friends know about it. There are also things like referral discounts as well. So um, I hope you guys have found this somewhat useful and yeah, look forward to, um, you know, working together to make sure that we all get the desired grades this year. So thank you very much, guys. And massive appreciation. Cheers, guys. Thank you. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.